Hello, and welcome back to the Cove with more Frostpunk. Alright, so we have uh, some scouts waiting. Unfortunately, they have nowhere to go. So I guess they're just going to have to hang out with us for a while. Though on the plus side, we do have our outpost ready to deliver us some timber. So I am keen for that. Now also, too, as you can see, we have a little bit of uh, technology soon to be finished. There we go. Uh, what was that again? House redesign, that's correct. Okay, so that will save us some very precious materials. So, let's see, what are we looking for with our new set of... Uh, faster outposts, that could be nice. Additional scouts again. I feel like we've done a pretty good job so far. Maybe more will be revealed to us. But if that's the case, I think we'll do that then. Engineer automatons. Hmm. So, allows them to be used at workshops and factories. Interesting. Automaton integration. Increasing efficiency. That does sound good. Or do we go for some resources, like gathering post insulation, advanced steel works. Hmm. But you know what? That is something that we do need a fair bit of. We also probably need a little bit of uh, hothouse insulation as well. Let's just quickly double check. How are we going for temperature? Right now, everything in the center is pretty good. So I'm not too concerned about the uh, hothouse. Yeah, there we are. That's more than enough. So I don't think we're going to go for the insulation there. I think what we will do... Ooh, hang on a second. Uh, extra food, so up to 45 as opposed to 30. So that's an extra 50% efficiency. That could be nice. Either that or... Either that or the advanced steel works. You know what, I think we're doing fine for food, and we're still on standard meals and not soup, so I think we can make that work if we do realise that's an issue. Let's go ahead and get the advanced steel work. Yeah, okay, so 80 wood, 40 steel. Well and truly worthwhile to us. Alright. Let's keep time travelling just a little bit further. And, oh, here we go. Refugees incoming yet again. A third group of refugees is here. They're on the verge of collapse, exhausted by their journey and tending to the gravely ill and injured with them. The leader, Nansen, isn't among them. We're evacuating everyone we can, but many stayed behind with those who were to build travel, Nansen among them. God have mercy on all of us. The great frost is coming. Shall we let them in? Alright, so that's 60 people, 50 of them gravely ill. Yeah, look, to be honest, I think we can manage that. Let's try and save everyone that we can. Let's welcome some new family to the faith. Alright, what looms ahead? Oh dear, okay. There, yeah, now we can clearly see that the refugees were what, what they were running from. The Great Frost is coming. We have to prepare. A scientists say they can calculate the severity of the storm from observations. They just need a day or two to prepare their instruments and install them in the beacon. Okay, that is, uh, that's rather daunting. That's rather huge. I don't know if we're going to get much out of this. Oh, we have a couple of new locations. Ah, well, I'm thinking... Hang on, I think that's a 180 on where we were before. Yeah, look at that. That is uh, that is awfully menacing. All right, let's go ahead and ice crevasse. Let's start searching there. Uh, snow burrows or the deep hollow. Yeah, let's go with the ice crevasse. Uh, let's send scouts. Let's go. Oh, do we have two groups? I think we do. All right, yeah, let's, uh, let's send the first ones here. And the second ones, let's get them going straight to the deep hollow. If we have enough time to get out there, we can then turn around and uh, come back. Yeah, what looms ahead? Research beacon, stereoscopic lens. Okay, so how do we make this happen? So, yeah, where is our beacon? That is our outpost. There is our other outpost. And there is a beacon. All right. No signs of anything. Okay. 
Well, let's just move ahead. We've almost made it one full month. So that's something. Let's go ahead and build the outpost. 100 steel every day does sound rather nice. And uh, yeah, there they are. They're already traveling towards us with 100 steel. That would be very, very good. So on that note, let's go ahead and uh, yeah, let's start increasing some of our housing. We did get the redesign, so we are doing fairly good. 10 wood, 7 steel, that is affordable. Let's, uh, let's start on one side of our little village here. Oh, actually, where are... Uh, ooh, we've got a bunch of homeless. Oh dear, that's uh, probably what we need to focus on first. Let's uh, cancel those. And, oh, okay, so we have 40, well, 39 people who are homeless, okay. So we'll put them in first. Let's go, uh, one, two, three, and four. That should be fine. So that will sort out our homelessness. And then with the rest, we'll start doing the redesigns. And we'll start out here. We'll go one, two, three. And then, well, we do have 24 hours um, research going on right now. Let's hold off and just make sure that we have at least 50, I think it was. Uh, the building button. We need technology. Hang on. Uh, 30 steel. That seems to be what these all are. Yeah. Okay, well, in that case, let's go ahead and keep going with the houses. Do some of these. And some of those. Alright, very good. Okay, so we have a bunch of people who are technically homeless. We have a bunch of people who can build the homes, so I'm not too concerned. Mind you, it's a rough way to wake up at 6am to find out that you're not going to have a house in uh, a couple of seconds. Alright, what's, uh, so what's going on here? We do have... Oh yes, children working in the frostbitten areas. That's right, yes. Well, you know, everyone's got to contribute. Right, let's also make sure that we build in roads. Let's travel. Let's travel down there. And then I think we can just move across a little and that will sort that out. All right. Very nice. We're done. Now we do have an extra coal thumper, which I think we may start working towards. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see resources. Is that a coal mine? Yeah, here we go. We can put one in there. So I guess we will. We have the ability. And then I think we also start building another sawmill. Actually, no, all of that's fairly well covered. Huh. Alright, well maybe we don't need to worry about that for now. We do, however, need to make sure that that is being manned as uh, much as possible. Right, so, the uh, coal mines. Do they require a uh, gathering post? Let's see here. Uh, no, it does not say anything about that. Okay. That is good. Good for us, at least. Uh, but it will definitely be necessary to get that up and running. If we're going to have this very cold frost... Uh, hit us. We're going to need all the coal we can get to keep up with everything going on. Yeah, so we're going to drop two temperatures in just over one day. Yeah, that is uh, more than just a little bit concerning. We do have a couple of dead bodies. That's going to be useful. We're going to be able to convert them into raw food uh, through using them as fertilizer, of course. Not, uh, not fit for human consumption. Yes, pun intended. Uh, what else? Otherwise, what else can we do? We have a bunch of steam cores. Are there any upgrades we can do? Uh, depots. Let's go for food. Uh, industrial hothouses. They, yep, they have certainly been sorted. Alright, I think we'll just wait two seconds and we'll get some more tech going. Whole pile depleted, that's good. We now have an advanced steel works. So, oh, before we do that, Let's go ahead and make sure that we have... Oh, there we are. The beacon. Oh, that's a hundred steel. 
Well, that's, uh... Well, that's a kick in the teeth. But not what we want at all. Let's, um... Hmm. Maybe we go for a little bit of insulation, or... We'll create some steel wreckage here. I don't think that that is necessary. Let's go... Exploration and industry. Maybe we go for the automaton increase. Yeah, we're not going to be able to afford that for a little bit. I don't think a day or two is going to make a huge amount on... Uh, on things. So let's just start... Let's just start, start researching what we can. And then when this is finished, we'll make sure that we go ahead and get that beacon. But I don't think a single day of research will be that impactful. So given that that's the case, let's check out our new advanced steel works. Uh, 50 wood and 28 steel. We could buy two of them. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's get them, let's get them going. We know we need it. We also get a bunch of steel coming in from our... Yeah, here we go, in 11 hours. So that should time out reasonably well. Uh, five hours? Okay, maybe not. But it will be fairly close. It will be fairly close. I think we may also go ahead and do another 24-hour emergency shift. Although, oh, we can only do that every second day. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, maybe we'll need to do that with one of the other ones instead and cycle through them one at a time. Alright, but before we do that, let's see what's going on in our city. The automatons. Serious accident. So there's been an accident. An automaton has stepped on a man, crushing his leg and crippling him for life. People argue that the automatons should walk more slowly and carefully, even at the cost of their efficiency. Uh... Effective efficiency will be dropped by 10 and hope will rise. We can't afford it and automatons will remain a threat. To be perfectly honest, 10% is way too much to give. We're going to say, uh, yeah, you can live with this. I am okay with that. You should probably watch where you're walking. Yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely what we're going to do. Now, also, too, we need to go through our medical facilities. We have plenty of people who need to be treated. So let's go ahead and give out extra rations. We'll cycle through all of the uh, buildings that we can. All right, there we are. That is sorted. That's nice. And from this workshop, let's go find the next one. Well, let's give them a... Yeah, let's use the emergency shift there too. There we are. And that way they'll keep working through that. And then, yeah, the other one can be on cooldown. And then we'll give our... Where is our temple? Okay. Ah, let's go ahead and give a sermon. That should help. And then, yeah, I think that's all we can manage for now. Actually, you know what we can do? We should probably go ahead and check out our... Oh, no, we don't have enough of anything. I was about to say we should check out putting a few more shrines around and make sure that we can sort some things, but I don't think that that is going to be possible. Though I'm very happy. We have about two full days' worth of rations, which is very good to see. We'll definitely be able to uh, stockpile a good amount. Alright, what else is there to be done? Uh, we're definitely waiting on steel. We're going to need a lot of that. We did get slowed down, but now how much are we producing? 9.8 per hour? And that's by 2, and that's 24 hours a day. So that's a good, uh, we'll call it about 400 steel per day. Wait, 400 steel per day? You know, that, that's, uh, that's roughly what we're at. Maybe a little bit over. I think that should be fine. Alright, what else is going on? Emergency shift. Spirits are high. So, the people you ordered to stay for emergency shift returned to work without a word of complaint. We know that with the storm coming, we need to put in extra hours. Everyone has to work together if we're to survive the deadly cold. Why, well, thank you. See, I'm not just some benevolent dictator. I actually appreciate what I'm doing. Oh, wow. And, uh, yeah, we got rid of a lot of their, uh, discontent. Hip, hip, hurrah. I guess that's uh, no longer a viable uh, metric since they did it voluntarily. I'm not going to give the negative. Alright, automaton, that's free. Uh, 
Uh, I think what we're going to have to do is five hours. How long does the technology take? Uh, I think they reach somewhere around eight hours, but we will. We're not going to wait for five. That seems way too risky. Let's start going with some things like. Uh, well, things are going to get cold, so let's go ahead and make sure that our hot houses. Or do we go for food? No, I think we go for the hot houses. I don't think it's. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just go with the hot house. Make sure that the, our ability to keep producing food is fine. We could go ahead and use a couple of bodies and improve our food generation. Honestly, I think we. Let's have a look at our economy and figure out our food situation. So at the moment, we are gaining more than we spend, which is very good. Food storage, we still have a bunch of soup. And we still have a bunch of regular meals. Okay. I think what we'll do is... Yeah, we'll keep going so we can improve our surplus. So at the moment, we're saving about 150 food. Which is nice, don't get me wrong, but I think we can do better. So let's go ahead and use a couple of bodies. And we'll do the same in both locations. And yeah, that's all we can do. The rest are just basic hunters' huts as well as uh, hangers. So we'll leave them be for now. Alright. I think we're doing alright. Uh, what's going on at this building here? Oh no, everyone's back to work. I guess they were just a little bit slow waking up this morning. Our coal situation. How is that work? We should probably check on that. Uh, we are consuming more than we are producing. That is a severe negative. Our coal mine needs at least one worker. Okay, what's going on there? Alright, oh, that's our newest one. Let's go ahead and make sure that that is filled. That might be enough to bridge the gap. I feel like it may be. Alright, scouts have reached the ice crevasse. Let's go and see what they have found. We found the dying people Nansen's refugees told us about. They're sheltering in an ice crevasse. Alright. On the verge of death. These people are on their last leg. Desperate, taking shelter in an ice crevasse, many of them suffer from heavy frostbite and hypothermia. We can help them still if we act quickly and bring them to our city. They can't stand on their own. Some can hardly speak. So we've also found... Amp Vulcan. Alright, let's go ahead and bring them to our city. I don't think we have uh, much choice. That won't cause too much of an issue, and that will take them nine hours to return. Okay. That's uh, not too bad. Let's just double check our housing that we are in surplus. No, so we're, we have one spare bed. So we need two more houses. That's fine. We will make this work. Let's uh, also double check. Where is our other... Uh, we have a gathering post here. There is nothing going on. I thought that normally... Oh, hang on a second. Maybe it's because we're outside of work hours. Yeah, I think that is the case. Because each one of these coal mines... Yeah, they don't require the um, gathering post. It's the coal thumpers. Where are the coal thumpers? Yeah, here we go. So we have one of those. That requires a couple of... Uh, one, two, three, and four. All right, that's good. And the other coal thumper here. Yep. Uh, oh, hang on a second. Where is... Where is the gathering post? Okay, so there's one doubling up, two, three. Okay, we need some more gathering posts if we're going to make this work out, because I'm fairly sure we need four. Uh, we do have almost enough steel, actually. No, we can spend some. We can spend some. All right, let's go to our resource collection. Let's go gathering posts. Let's put in one... Oh, we can put one in there. That's nice. I think that's where we need you. Can we rotate? It would be nice if we could rotate the building. 
Uh, hang on a second. Where is our... Is that the thumper there? Yes, it is. Okay. What's this thing here? Field pigeon. Hmm. Yeah, you are, you are a little important. I don't think we can get rid of you. Let's go ahead and uh, place one in here. We'll put in a second one there. I think that should reach here if it's going white with that. Like, I think it's a roughly a similar radius. Yeah, I think that should be fine if we eyeball it. Actually, can we... Oh, not adjacent to street. We can even put them up here. Huh. Um... Yeah, maybe that will work, because that one can get this one. Alright, so we'll do that, and then... Same with this other one here. Alright, so hopefully they, uh, come up with the correct... Uh, choice as far as, uh, efficiency is concerned. So the four closest are there, and the four that can access there. Hopefully that will pan out. Get that sorted, and you know what, let's bring in a shortcut through there, just to make sure that everyone has a nice path through all jobs. Uh, let's double check our infirmaries. Whereabouts are they? Uh, House of Healing? Yeah, we cannot do any more extra rations yet. That's not up and running. Yeah, I think we'll hold out for now. We are going to need more coal. We have plenty of wood. Maybe we do go ahead and start making a charcoal kiln. They're not particularly large buildings, which is good to see. Could maybe put them uh, up along here? Or even uh, in here? That wouldn't be the end of the world. We would have access to warmth. Hmm. Alright, I think we're gonna... I think we're going to hold off just... Actually, no, no, we'll do this one first. And we will see. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully that helps. That helps uh, change our economy of, uh, yeah, of things. Alright, so very soon, what's this? In a couple of hours, let's check it out. Five hours. Yep, we will be able to afford going for that beacon, which I really do want to get. I do need to know what we're dealing with as soon as possible. Also, too, I think we're going to need to... Oh, yeah, we've got that equipment as steel. That is very nice. Oh. Um, on that note, we probably need to go ahead and get some houses for those people who are coming. So we need at least two houses. Let's make sure that they are nice and snug. Let's go one here. Oh, we can't fit a second one in there. Let's go there. That should be fine. That still seems within range of everything. I also need to make sure that we're filling up... Hang on. Those jobs. We'll send a couple of children. Again, I think it's a pretty good use for them. They can, uh... They can do an easy job that isn't too crazy definitely go ahead and send in a couple of workers just so in case we need to shuffle around some engineers we have a couple left over to spare uh is there anything we can do from a old perspective no prayers no ceremonial services we'll have to wait all right let's go ahead and get this beacon where are you uh there we are exploration and industry beacon Alright, 100 of both. That's quite the amount, but hey, should work out fine. And then I think we're also going to go ahead and start working through some of these houses. Now uh, let's go here and here. We can't... Oh, maybe we maybe we can upgrade these. Whoops. Um, was there a... Did we go for the advanced steel works? No, we've already done those. So that is unnecessary. Is there anything else we can upgrade? Steam steel works, that's a downgrade. Uh, let's 
go. No, I think that's all we can afford. Okay. Alright, we'll just hold out there for now. Let's also... Yeah, just make sure that we are getting on top of all of the housing. So let's go to the houses. Let's just build them as is. And I think we go... Another two. There we are. And... Oh, well, we can probably keep on going. Let's just... Uh, oh, upgrade's already underway. Fantastic. Alright, let's go uh, one, two, and three. Alright, that should be good. That should be very, very good. Alright, so you know what? I think we might... Oh, hang on a second. We might uh, leave things there for today. We're going to have a couple more people join our cause very soon. So let's just make sure that we can, uh, yeah, deal with that tomorrow. So if you do want to catch the episode, I would highly recommend subscribing. It is the best way to catch all future Crosspunk episodes. And I will see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to the Leviathan Cove. This is the Leviathan, signing out.